The Project Veritas video trying to expose Google was fascinating. Although I think it was a propaganda piece, and many of the video clips of secret interviews were cherry-picked, I still think it made a lot of good points. It showed what Google is up to a little bit, since they don't like being very transparent about much of anything. One thing that it got me to research a little bit is algorithmic fairness. It seems to me that Google essentially wants their algorithms to favor the progressive stack. And yeah, as far as what women and minorities will be able to criticize, they'll be given more leeway, whereas men and those in the majority will be censored more in what they can criticize. This doesn't directly translate to Google wanting to go after conservatives. Google has no problem with conservative economic theories such as supply-side economics, you know, trickle-down economics. They certainly don't hate or discourage capitalism. They don't hate Christians. They don't hate the nuclear family. They don't hate a lot of things that are normally associated with being the cornerstone of conservatism. But they do consider a number of things to be hateful. Someone stating that transgenderism is a mental disorder will probably be considered hateful. Someone who tries to claim that homosexuality is degeneracy, yeah, they'll probably consider that hateful. Quinchka! Quinchka! Someone stating that black people are stupid and are genetically unable to comprehend or integrate with white culture yeah, that would probably be considered hateful as well. Someone stating that giving women the same rights as men is causing the downfall of our civilization, yeah, that would probably be considered hateful. Someone stating that feminism is cancer would probably be considered hateful. Someone stating that Black Lives Matter are just a bunch of thugs who want any excuse to be able to riot and cause havoc, yeah, they'll probably be considered hateful. Now, is that going after conservatism? I hope that's not what conservatism means. Is that what it means now? I think most of what drives this whole thing are the advertisers. They're ratcheting things to be closer to what is expected out of legacy media, you know, television. So I think about it a little bit further. So on the other hand, what if things were flipped and Google was censoring people because they said something negative about the Bible or about Christianity. You know, because they consider it hateful, right? Well, I'd, I'd probably call it Christian Tube. I'd probably make a bunch of negative videos talking about how much YouTube has changed. And then I'd probably go somewhere else. Or even more likely, I'd just try to tone down my content and try to meet the requirements for uploading to the site. Wouldn't be happy about it, but still. Do I think the progressive stack is unfair? Certainly. It tries to solve social problems and inequalities by just flipping the entire thing on its head and then saying, See? Isn't this so much better? But this sort of thing seems to be what's running Google now. And it's probably been running them for quite a while. It's not like we can actually do anything about it. And let's be clear, too, they have a, an anti-Trump sort of stance. Someone can be anti-Trump and still be conservative. Most of the things that people are the most pissed off at Trump for don't actually have much to do with being conservative. But yeah, it's kind of dangerous, or at least messed up, for a company as large as Google and, the kind, and all the pies they have their fingers in that they would be pushing an anti-Trump sort of thing, uh, uh, to the point where it essentially amounts to election meddling. That's not a good thing. If you try to look things up, you'll find more good things about the left and more bad things about the right. I mean, they're under no legal obligation to give you the results that you think you want. I mean, they're under no legal obligation to give us any results at all. I mean... But it still doesn't make it any better just knowing that, you know. But, you know, what are we going to do about it? Are you going to call for the government to try to do something about it? Maybe they could. But aren't there some downsides to having the government get involved? And wouldn't that be going against conservative values, is 
trying to have the government come step in and tell a company how they're supposed to do business. I don't know, this whole thing is weird. I guess I'll end the video.